Pharmacology Laboratory Experiments. We are discussing about the purpose of pharmacology experiments. First, contents. Purpose in for purpose of pharmacology experiments, we are discussing about the definition of pharmacology, new drug design, research, drug safety, effectiveness, drug potency, drug efficacy, drug toxicity, drug interaction, and changes in existing drugs. Now the definition, study of drugs and their actions on living system. That is the study of how drugs work in the body, sometimes referred to as drug actions. And in experimental pharmacology, which deals with effects of various test substances studied on different animal species, which is aimed at finding out safe therapeutic agents suitable for public health, as well as mechanism and site of action of a test substance. And the study of drug and their action on living systems, uh, there is the biomedical science, including research, discovery, characterization of chemicals. In the next slide, drug, a uh, new drug design. In the new drug design is the inventive process of finding new medications based on the knowledge of a biological target. In the most basic sense, drug design involves the drug of molecules that are complementary in shape and charge to the molecular target with which they interact and bind. In the drug discovery is a process which is intended to identify a small synthetic molecule or a large biomolecule for comprehensive evaluation as a potential drug candidate. What are the stages of preclinical testing or stages of development? Uh, once a lead candidate is identified, a typical preclinical development program consists of six major efforts including manufacture of drug substance, active pharmaceutical ingredient, formulation, pre-formulation and formulation, which is dosage design, analytical and bioanalytical methods, development and validation. And last is the metabolism. What is the stage three of a clinical trial? Phase three of a clinical trial usually involves up to 3,000 participants who have a condition that the new medication is made to treat. What is the phase four FDA approval? Phase four is studied or post-marketing is studied that are imposed upon a pharmaceutical firm as a condition for drug approval. And what is FDA post-market drug monitoring? FDA monitors adverse events such as adverse reactions and poisoning. In the next slide, research. Research. Uh, researchers are interested in how drugs can help prevent, diagnose, or treat diseases and conditions. They are also interested in how some drugs can improve general health. In research, identify the new compound substances and chemicals that they can later use to treat diseases. And this will be done through pharmacological analysis. 
in drug safety uh, signs of it is the signs of detection drug safety is the signs of de uh, detection assessment understanding and prevention of side effects which allows us to understand more about the risk and benefits of a medicine and why is a uh, drug safety important drug safety is a main aspect of medical therapy that can play a major role in deciding uh, which uh, drug uh, should be uh, given to a patient also considering the concept of benefit risk balance we found that drugs with a high risk profile should be avoided unless needed in the next slide effectiveness effectiveness can be defined as the extent to which a drug achieves its intended effect in the usual clinical setting it can be evaluated through observational studies of real practice this allows practice to be assessed in qualitative as well as quantitative terms how do you evaluate drug effectiveness the evaluation evaluation of effectiveness of pharmacotherapy includes measurable improvement in clinical signs and symptoms and or uh, laboratory value the evaluation of the safety of pharmacotherapy includes evidence of adverse drug reactions and or uh, toxicity another question what is the difference between efficacy and effectiveness efficacy is the degree to which uh, uh, for example vaccine prevents disease and possibly also transmission under ideal and controlled circumstances comparing a vaccinated group with a placebo group effectiveness meanwhile refers to how well it performs in the real world drug potency drug potency what is the drug potency um in the field of pharmacology potency is a measure of drug activity expressed in terms of the amount required to produce an effect of given intensity a highly potent drug evokes a given response at low concentration while a drug of lower potency evokes the same response only at higher concentration potency or strength refers to the amount of drug usually expressed in milligrams needed to produce an effect such as relief of pain or reduction of blood pressure for instance if 5 mg of drug a relieves pain as effectively as 10 mg of drug b drug is drug a is twice as potent as drug b in the next slide drug efficacy basically uh, drug efficacy is the maximum response achievable from a pharmaceutical drug in research setting and to the capacity for sufficient therapeutic effect or beneficial change in clinical setting this is the maximum response that can be achieved with a drug or in other, in other words drug's ability to produce the desired result what factors affect drug efficacy these are the type of drug quantity of drug used method of drug use time taken to consume tolerance gender size and amount of molecule use of other 
physical active drug mood or attitude also involved in drug efficacy all these are the factors that influence the drug effect what is the difference between potency and efficacy potency is an expression of the activity of a drug in terms of the concentration of amount of the drug required to produce a defined effect on the other hand um, efficacy clinical efficacy judges the therapeutic effectiveness of the drug in human in the next slide drug toxicity drug toxicity refers to the level of damage that a compound can cause to an organism the toxic effects of a drug are dose dependent and can affect an entire system as in the cns or a specific organ such as the liver is toxicity the same as overdose additionally toxicity happens after the accumulation of one prescription drug overdose on the other hand can occur quickly after someone digests too much of any substance or combination can drug toxicity reverse once the drug has been absorbed there are few methods that help decrease morbidity and mortality caused by a toxic drug level albumin infusion is a new approach that changes that as it can rapidly reverse a toxic drug level back to a therapeutic level what does toxicity feel like toxic overdose overload can cause a number of changes in your body in the early stage your body try to expel those toxins by any means necessary you may experience for example diarrhea sneezing or coughing fits excessive urination sore throat heartburn nasal congestion or uh, runny nose from uh, mucus overproduction or in some cases vomiting which condition can cause drug toxicity drug toxicity may occur when a person has consumed a dose of a drug that is too high for them to handle it may also occur when the person's liver or um, kidneys are uh, unable to function properly and get the drug out of the blood stream this can cause it to build up over time until it starts to cause problem there are different types of toxicities uh including chemical toxicity biological in some cases uh physical toxicity uh, radiation and behavioral toxicity now come to the drug interaction a drug interaction is a reaction between two or more drugs or uh, between a drug and a food or beverage or supplement taking a drug while having certain medical condition can also cause a drug interaction for example uh, taking a nasal decongestant if you have high blood pressure may cause an um, unwanted reaction there are uh, different types of interaction uh, mostly uh, these are three interaction of drugs with other 
drugs drug drug interaction second one is the drugs with food drug food interaction or in some cases drug with disease condition uh, known as drug disease interaction so these three are very common drug interactions changes in existing drug uh, before a start of changes in existing drug uh what are the uh, different type what are the some common drug drug interactions including uh, for example theophylline interact with cumulone warfarin interact with macrolides warfarin also interact with non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs and said now uh, we come to the part where we talk about the symptoms of drug interaction these are common uh, interaction uh, symptoms of drug interaction are skin rash swelling dizziness severe nausea and vomiting diarrhea or uh, constipation okay changes in existing drug new indications refers to new signifying that an existing drug may have a broader range of medical applications repurposing existing drugs in this manner can prove less costly than developing new drug if uh, you like our presentation please like share and subscribe to our channel and be sure to press the bell icon thank you